So I figure we'll start with this. This is the Ann Arbor uh, VA, my home for the last uh, four or five days. I've lost track at this point, but that's the, uh, that's the hospital there. There's the College of Dentistry for the University of Florida. This is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of the VAs have these. That's the uh, Fisher House. So, like, if I had to stay here at the hospital for an extended period of time beyond five days, <laughs> which is damn long enough for me, I'll tell you that, uh, my wife could come and get a room. There's, uh, I think there's 26 rooms in there, maybe more, I'm not, or less, you know. Um, I, those look like solar panels, but I don't see the infrastructure. It would be, that would be smart to make your parking garage out of solar panels, but they're probably not. Knowing the, knowing the government. So, uh, and then this is another parking lot over here for the VA. Uh, so that just kind of gives you, but look at the construction taking place here in Florida. Holy moly, it's the University of Florida over here. Two cranes there. We're gonna get a picture of this crane as I walk around the corner. But uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, Groundhog Day 4, I think. It, uh, the VA. Um, now, the next section of the video was actually taken earlier, and I kept saying day two, day two, and it's really day three. I'll probably put up a little text box uh, just to say day three. Not that it really matters. Um, and I described the situation. Uh, you know, I come up here for what I think is going to be a, a day or maybe even an overnight stay, and, and you're here for five days. They're still running tests. We still don't know what happened or what's wrong. Uh, it's just been a gosh dang nightmare. Um, so let's whip around. I was going to get a selfie, um, but uh, I'll just keep going. We'll, we'll get get the camera situated here. There we go. Sorry about that. I might cut a little bit of that up, but uh, boy, I tell you. Value your health, people. It's uh, it's been brutal. Um, well, I think we've run every virus test known to mankind. Uh, so what they're still working on it. The good news is I'm fairly healthy. Good kidneys, good bladder. Liver's a little damaged, uh, but considering that I used to drink a lot, that's not anything. Plus all the chemotherapy that I went through years ago, that's uh, that's to be expected. Um, let's see. Uh, now I do my have I recovered no I'm, I'm probably at about uh, well I'd say 60% now uh, yesterday I was probably at about 40% and uh, each day I'm getting better we'll get back to on the trails here hiking soon you know I'm not sure how many trails I could can do left here in Florida because uh, you know the, the the weeds and the bugs are growing in everything's getting there so we're gonna whip around and get a better view of the VA uh, I'll just keep uh, keep the angle so that I don't mess up the video too much. But uh, let's go ahead and swing it on around. There you go. So uh, I, I hiked up the uh, all the way up the pike, hi, uh, parking ramp because you know if anything that's going to get my heart rate up. I'm hoping that the reason I'm doing this. You say, well, Kirk, if you're sick. Why are you out uh, pushing yourself like this? Well, if you got, <laughs> if, if pushing myself causes a problem, at least I'm in the right place. <laughs> so, because, uh, you know, I, I want to push myself here rather than wait till I uh, get out or I'm checked out. So um, I'm going to, I'm going to do a good hike, good workout today. And, uh, and we're going to get down here in the parking garage. Um, we still don't know. The jury's out on lymphoma cancer or, or a blood virus or blood cancer, excuse me. They got some more tests that they're running. Uh, I don't know. We may never know exactly what uh, what caused uh, this uh, uh, just collapse uh, of my body for in the last uh, couple of weeks. Um, I, I know it's been brutal. I can tell you that. I know I wasn't, you know, wasn't like the flu. You know, you wasn't puking. Never got nauseated. A uh, huge pain in the left hand side. Don't know. I thought it was a kidney failing or just kidney. Uh, I, I actually I thought it was a kidney um, infection. Is exactly what I thought because that's kind of where the kidney's located. 
Um, so who knows? I uh, still got some gastrointestinal problems, so I'm making appointments for that. But that's just been ongoing ever since my bowels perforated from getting the cancer the first time. Um, so I'm going to tie this off right there because the next video is the one you want to you want to watch. I mean, that is going to be great. You're going to enjoy that. So uh, you know, if you're watching me on YouTube, um, you know I talk about silver quite a bit because I am a silver bug. And uh, Chris Marcus, uh, he does Arcadia Economics. If you ever want to look him up, and uh, the classic video of his of all time was uh, when the uh, the big freeze came down on Texas. And uh, you know, if you just look up Arcadia Economics, you may have to subscribe temporarily to his channel if you're not into silver at all. And uh, and find that video. Um, you know what? I'll put it. I'll put it in the link down below in this uh, in this video. And uh, this is going to be my, uh, my Chris Marcus imitation. <laughs> hey, Jamie Diamond! <laughs> Where are the lights? Where are the lights, man? All of Austin, Texas is lit up, but we got no power. We got no power. There you go. That is my Jamie Diamond or Chris Marcus imitation from Arcadia Economics. You guys, peace out. And uh, check out the, the remainder of the video. You're going to love it. And because uh, I snuck out and got down in the basement of the hospital and uh, it was pretty eerie. I, the one thing I couldn't remember was, uh, what was it that I, oh, Twilight Zone. It was like being in the Twilight Zone. I never said that in the next section of the video. I talked about being in, a, a, you know, aliens coming around the corner or a monster jumping out at me. It was, <laughs> but, but it was like being in the Twilight Zone. All right, you guys, ch keep, check out the remainder of the video. So uh, I got really sick and luckily still don't know what's going on but I'm back to about 60% so I just uh, just got a good night's sleep and I woke up about 2 o'clock in the morning and the basement's always the coolest place of any place you go. So I thought I'd just take a video of the basement here at the hospital and just kind of go for a walkabout. Now I wasn't intending to uh, actually make a video. I didn't even have my phone with me, but I just I felt like I was in one of those weird uh, science fiction movies, you know, where the uh, you're down here in the basement and. And there's nobody around and uh, you know, the monster's going to jump out any second, you know, and, uh, or one of those apocalyptic movies. Of course, the lights wouldn't be on in that one, but I got to find where I was. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I want to just reiterate the story here to you. About a week and a half ago, I got, I got deathly ill and... Uh, I couldn't, uh, I, I was like having mono. And uh, man, I'm telling you, I'd, I'd get in the bed and uh, yeah, this is it, this is where I wanna go. And uh, I had sweats, God, I, and I was sleeping. I bet I was sleeping 16, 20 hours a day. And uh, I, I didn't know what was going on, but you know, I don't, I hate hospitals, man. I can't stand them. So I thought, you know, as long as I'm gonna get better, I'm going to fight this thing to the bitter end, and I did, I got better each day, and, uh, um, but eventually I had to, uh, give in, because, uh, yeah, I thought, wow, this could, this could be something serious, you know, and, uh, so I came here to the hospital, and, uh, you know, they did the blood test, and they came back with, uh, markers for lymphoma, and, uh, so I was immediately rushed up to the fourth floor, um, you know, room, and uh, and I, you know, of course, that night, I all kinds of weird stuff went through my head, because that's a death sentence for me, and uh, and then you get to thinking, well, you know, what do I do with all my camping equipment? My wife, <laughs> my wife's not going to use that. Now look at this. This is cool, huh? It's a tunnel. Now I, I got him. This is why I knew I had to come back and get the phone, because I was like, man, I gotta, 
I got to make a video of this and talk about this experience. But uh, anyway, so uh, you know, no, and I couldn't say I didn't sleep because you know I'm 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 still hurting and we haven't found well as well. Anyway, so the uh, you know cat scans to you know been through two cat scans everything else. Uh, you know this is day two at the hospital, and uh, hopefully I'll be getting out of here. At, you know, since it's two o'clock in the morning today, I'm hoping, 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 hoping. But uh, and I hope we get the answer, because now you know it, it wasn't cancer, <laughs> thank God. You know, but uh, with the test still running, you know, I've still got other problems. I I won't go into details, and uh, so um, you know, I'm hoping we'll see what exactly it is. But is does this? I mean, is this cool? Or what you know do you feel like you're you're in some weird uh, uh, time zone or <laughs> or new dimension <laughs> you know it's, I I uh, you know if nothing else now I know where MRI and ultrasound are you know and uh, this is why I used to love working at night and uh, and why I'm not a day person you know I mean that's you know, another reason I don't fit into the world around me. Uh, yeah, hey, you know, that was another thought that popped into my head. You know, I uh, I only have acquaintances. I don't have any friends. All my friends are dead. And I, you know, you're laying there, you know, in this situation, and you're thinking, well, who would come to my funeral? <laughs> you know? And in my in my answer was my wife. At least I hope you would. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, because I, 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 I was thinking, you know, I'm not close to any any of my relatives, and most of them live too far away. Uh, you know, and, and you know the ones that I get along with, because uh, you know I don't know about your family, but mine's pretty dis dysfunctional. <laughs> and so, so I wouldn't expect any of my relatives to come. Now I do have some good friends left, but you know, one, the two of them are in Michigan, and one's in Virginia. You know, and I'm thinking, wow, that's the, if I got those three people, that was in Judy. That'd be four people at my funeral. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know. You know, these are all the things that pop into your head. And uh, but uh, you know, I guess it's uh, the theme of this video is you know appreciate each and every day. You know, there I was just stoking along, doing those amazing hikes, uh, you know, going six, seven miles. And, you know, one and a half weeks ago, a hike from my kitchen to my bed, and I was winded beyond belief. I couldn't, I couldn't even, uh, uh, you know, I had to, I would have to go back and lay down. That's how bad it was. And, uh, and I still don't have an answer as to what was going on. And, uh, and I'm, so now, you know, the, the story will continue. I got to go to gastrology. Now, it looks like this is going to be the end of our journey for this video because um, these doors are locked. And I think that we've gone underneath a, a road above, a four lane road, and this leads into another hospital. Uh, you know, of course, that door back there. It was, no, this entrance is currently closed. Okay. Maybe that door being open is just a, a fluke that I was able to in, take advantage of. So, um, anyway, I don't, I don't know what the purpose of this video was other than I just thought this, this would be a cool, cool video. And just to talk about, you know, how much we all need to appreciate, you know, the times when we're healthy. I mean, I, you know, I, last time I had cancer was what 2011 you know and and then this time i thought this this was it you know i i was for sure i was for sure that you know i'm I, and i said well you know and, and then i thought all that preparation you know I, you've seen my resilience videos and and all the precautions that i've taken and i've talked about the silver squeeze and i've talked about all the things i've done and i'm laying there in that bed thinking well all that you know, and, and, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the world before the shit hits the fan. <laughs> you know, all of my prostrations about the, you know, how important the U.S. Constitution is and, and how I like for people to adopt, you know, or, or hear about my conservative values, you know, you, you but at least, you know, you, I would like that some people might see the, uh, 
the reasoning behind them, you know, because uh, I don't, I don't see the reasoning behind open borders. And well, I do actually, I'm going to be making a video on that. Uh, hopefully on the trail tomorrow, I'm going to stop by Payne's Prairie. Now you see how slow I'm hiking and I'm pretty winded right now. <clears throat> so, you know, it's not going to be a, 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 you know, crazy hike. I just want to get back in the woods for just a little bit. I got, I got all my hiking gear this time, you know, so if the wood ticks or, or anything's out, you know, and I'll just be hiking nice and slow. And uh, we're going to, we're going to talk about the open borders and uh, what that means and uh, you know things like that um, with the uh, with the Democrat Party and what they're doing you know the the massive spending and and what that agenda is all about because it's definitely you know and here you got uh, you know they, they've basically turning over taxation to the G7 oh, you know that's taxation without representation that was the the founding principles of the country and Biden wants the G7 to be able to tax the citizens of the United States. I've never heard of such lunacy and people are going along with it. All right, well, we'll, we'll get on to all that tomorrow. But I just thought this was cool. And uh, boy, I tell you, I guess I better be getting back to my, my bed because I'm, I'm feeling it. All right, you guys, peace out. And uh, I'll put this video up when I get home uh, tomorrow evening because I, I think it's pretty cool. It's, uh, and, you know, the VA, you know, a lot of people bitch at it. They tell you how bad they are. And uh, I, I've been, I had some, some bad parts here. You know, any hospital is, is bad and good. But this has been a lot, I mean, the rooms are spectacular here. And you're by yourself in the room. I mean, even up in Michigan, I would have to share a room with somebody. And that's horrible, you know. Uh, to, but here you got a room all to yourself. And, uh, and they, they're very efficient about you know, and I don't know if you've been in hospitals, you know, they, you can't get, uh, every time you get ready to go to sleep, they're in there. Oh, we got to take your blood. We got to take your vitals. You know, we got to do this. We got to do that. And you're just like, son of a bitch, man. <laughs> you're killing me. You're killing me. I'm going to be dead before I leave here. And uh, yeah, and, and COVID is, there's, you know, even here in Florida, daggone it. You know, everybody here at the hospital still got masks on. I feel sorry for them. You know, uh, and I uh, did get to talk to one of the doctors who actually worked in the, uh, well, let's, let's just keep going. He did work in the um, the COVID area and because uh, we were talking about the vaccine, you know, I still haven't gotten it. And, uh, and he, he was encouraging me to get it because, um, uh, you know, he says, look, he says, you know, you've he was quoting the numbers you know about how many people have gotten it and you know how he got it and he, he had a pretty rough time he said his temperature went up to 103 with that first shot and uh he says but it's worth it he says because he says i watched on my watch alone 300 people die you know while i was working on them you know in the covid because he was assigned to the covid area he said so it was it was you know it was brutal until the vaccine came out he said so you know i highly encourage you to get it and i, I said you know and of course i was going on about the the things i read so i'm going to go home and watch a few more videos on it and uh, i'm still on the fence and i'm not encouraging anybody to do one thing or the other but uh let's go this way because i you know this is cool I mean, you know in, in that one strange the credit unions in the basement <laughs> You know, you know, normally the bank has the most prominent spot in the uh, in the building. You know, I guess this was probably the credit union, the, <laughs> the Radiant. I've never. I'm in Florida. You know what? Three and a half years, four years. I don't even know who Radiant Credit Union is. And uh, but this is you know, this. Well, I'm getting back to working nights. You know, that's why I I loved working nights because you know it's it's always quiet and uh no no supervision no management around uh per se and uh and oh here's the patriot and the cafes down here too forgot about that you know i might go in there before i leave tomorrow all right man you guys have a good one peace out oh i real another just brief clip uh you know i always try to make my videos educational um you know one thing whenever you go to the hospital always pack an overnight bag uh, and uh, you can see I did real well. <laughs> I didn't bring a damn razor. And the hospital will not have a razor for you. Um, the other thing was I didn't bring a, 
an extra pair of shorts. I thought, well, you know, the shorts, they don't really get dirty because you got underwear on underneath, you know, but uh, my shorts are getting ripe at this point after five days. <laughs> so, what was the other thing that I forgot? Uh, I, I don't know, I'll try to think of it. Oh, dental floss, oh my God. I don't know about you, but if I don't floss my dog on teeth, uh, they get nasty in between there. And uh, so those are three things to, to bring in your overnight bag. You know, mainly, and then the other stuff, chain of clothes, to change of clothes. You don't need soap, you don't need shampoo, unless you got a special shampoo that you have to have. Um, but that's just my advice, because, you know, even if you're just going for what you know is going to be a day, I swear, I, I, I come, every time I go to the damn hospital, it, it just turns into a freaking nightmare, man. It just turns into a nightmare. And uh, I forgot with uh, with Chris Marcus, it was a little more explicative, explic explicative than that. It was, uh, Jamie Diamond, you effing flipping. Yeah, and woo, you can use your imagination there. <laughs> just, I was surprised YouTube kept it up. Oh my God, you wouldn't watch your children watching that video. <laughs> It was, I'll tell you, it was the funniest video I think I've ever watched on YouTube. All right, that's it. Bye.